tomu je? I'm going to talk about my school dinners and I'm going to start with a couple of poems about chips. Now the first one is called Lovely Chips. Even if there had been pips in the chips, I think we'd have eaten them. The next one's a bit more serious. This one's called The Boy Who Didn't Like Chips. You'd have thought he'd have eaten them anyway, just to stop us saying that he was not a proper boy. But no, no chips, he'd say. Maybe he did it because that was the only time he was ever popular. And now, a song about chips. Chips, chips, mmm, chips. Push, push your chips into your mush. Past your lips with occasional dips in the ketchup. Before the forks fetch up of your chips. Steamed pudding. In my primary school, you had to have everything and you had to eat everything. And for some years, I would slip my steamed pudding into my pocket, disposing of it later in the playground bin. But one day, I decided that I was too old to behave like this. And I put my hand up and I said, please, miss, I can't eat this steamed pudding. And miss said that I was mistaken and I would have all lunch break and the rest of my life, if necessary, to prove it. Three quarters of an hour of held breath and pretending to be anywhere but the present. But eventually, there was no more steamed pudding to be seen. My little plate, scraped nearly as clean as someone who loved the stuff. Neatly and quietly, I put down my spoon. Miss put down her pen and smiled. But not the smile she had when she was caning somebody. Oh no, no, this was a different smile. This was a smile as if she understood how I hated steamed food. I want to give you something for doing that, she said. And I imagined a fantastic present, possibly a million points for my house, Possibly the confiscations of another boy, but probably a joy beyond my little imagination.